What's happening guys? Coming at you from the warehouse today with some base knobs. We have a few different ones on the website. We're gonna go over a couple of them today. So in my hand right now, I have the down for sound subwoofer base knob. This one's pretty cool. We actually have a revision number two coming out for this. It's gonna have a voltmeter built into it like our metal base knobs that you see right here. We have this one in a bunch of different flavors. So on the version two of this, we'll have down for sound on one side and then a voltmeter on the other side. It looks something like this. But I'm also going to tell you how you hook these up and why they can work for any amplifier. A common question that we get on our base knobs for our JP23 or our JP line of amplifiers or down for sound amps is will this base knob work with my amplifier? And the answer is no, it will not. It will only work with the down for sound amplifiers because they were specifically made for that. You have to have a, uh, the specific, I think it's a Cat5 or a Cat6 cable, and your amplifier also has to be able to send the signal that it's looking for to display the temperature, voltage, uh, power protect, clip, all these different features. It has to be able to accommodate that, and if it's not, then it's not gonna do it just from the base knob. So anyway, uh, how you hook these base knobs up and why they will work with any amplifier, these universal bass knobs, is just like this. We have a Crescendo Audio BC6K right next to me. I'm going to show you how this works. So basically, you have a set of RCAs on each side. And you're going to have, from your head unit, you're going to have RCAs coming out of your head unit. You're going to run into this side right here. Like your sub level, your sub out on your head unit is going to go into this side. Then inside of here, there's a high quality potentiometer where you turn this up and down the base level. Out the other side, you're going to take a set of nice high quality RCAs, down for sound, certified base head, just, just for color coordination purposes. You're going to stick them together, get you a good connection. You don't want any cheap RCAs. You're going to have them connected like that. And then, obviously this would be a lot longer in the real world application because your amplifier is not going to be right by your hand. And then you're going to take this and you're going to stick these into the amplifier input right here. Just like that. So now you have this base knob right here and you're going to be turning up the input. This like the signal going to this, you're gonna be turning it up with this base knob. If you have this, you do not need the base knob that comes from the factory with this amplifier, which would be plugged in right here. You don't need two base knobs. That's really like useless. Like you don't need to do that. So if you're gonna do one of these aftermarket base knobs, don't use the factory one. Don't even have it plugged in right here because you're gonna be controlling that output with your base knob right here. So same thing own pull this apart so same thing with the metal base knobs that we have I don't know what color I should pick we're gonna go with black so you're gonna stick your RCAs in the bottom of it tighten this down so it gets you a good nice connection on there and this one like I said the metal base knobs, so we're moving on from the 3D printed subwoofer base knob. We're gonna move into our metal down for sound base knobs. Has a nice voltage readout on here and a nice rubber grip on here. And we have to be able to power this voltmeter on here. So how do we do that? We have a ground wire, which is the black one. We have a constant hot, which is the red one. And then we have a ACC or accessory wire right here, which is gonna trigger it to turn on when your vehicle is on and only that at that time. So you could hook this into your remote wire or something like that. So this only turns on when your vehicle is on. This also has, I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully you can hear that clicking. So if you turn this all the way counterclockwise, it's gonna click and that's turning it off. So you can turn your entire sub side of your system off by turning it all the way down and you feel that click. And if you wanna bump it on just a little bit, you click it like that and it comes on and you just slowly turn it up to your desired base or subwoofer listening level. 
So same exact thing coming out of here. It's a dip. So we don't have RCAs coming out of here. We just have the connections right here. So you're gonna come out of your head unit with your subwoofer out, your RCAs into this base knob. And then on the other side, you're gonna have your RCAs coming out, follow that down into the input side of your amplifier. So that's why this can work with any amplifier because you have to have an input signal and RCAs on your amplifier. So this is gonna be controlling that signal going to it and it's gonna allow you to adjust your subwoofer base level uh, with your base knob. So like I said, we have tons of different colors. Uh, we're not showing the red, we're actually waiting, waiting on the red to come in. But we have purple, blue, pink, green, white, and black, and also red, waiting on it to come in. So tons of different flavors for you to satisfy your needs. Almost like Baskin Robbins, but not quite 31 flavors, but anyway. So this is your base knob. This is your universal base knobs that we have right now. We got the metal one, the plastic one. Which one do you use? If you use a base knob, do you use the factory one that comes with the amplifier, or do you use the aftermarket one because they're a lot cooler? Got a painted one. Let me know what you use in the comments below. If you'd like to grab one of these, you can do so by checking out the description of this video and you'll see a link to the metal ones and you'll also see a link to the 3D printed ones. So in about a month, we're gonna have the version twos of the 3D printed subwoofer base knobs. It's gonna have the, it's gonna be a real nice, it's not gonna be printed anymore like 3D printed. It's gonna be injection molded. It'll be a nice smooth finish. And it's also gonna be housing a uh, voltmeter on it just like this one. And we're gonna have a nice down for sound logo on the top of it. So we're just gonna, that's what's gonna make it a version two. It's gonna be even better. So anyway, let us know what you're running. If you are not running and you want to be running a aftermarket base knob that looks nice like this, you'll be able to see it in the description. Uh, we'll have it listed for the metal ones and we'll have another listing for the uh, 3D printed. Sorry, it's not gonna be 3D printed anymore. It's going to be injection mold. It's gonna be very nice. So, but there'll be links to each one of those down below. You can check that out and grab yours today and let me know what you like the most. Yo, what's up guys? If you want to see more of the hot content that you just saw in that video, be sure to follow me on all my social media channels from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, The Life of Price is my handle on there. I also have Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram, and don't forget Snapchat is JPD4S. Check out all the hot content on there as well.